In February 2019, Samsung confirmed it will stop making 4K Blu-ray players. So this begs the question, is the day of only being able to stream movies upon us? My answer, coming up. Hi, I'm Isaac and this is Movie University. On this channel, I do educational videos like this one. So if you like what you see today, consider subscribing. On February 15, 2019, Samsung confirmed to Forbes.com that they will no longer be releasing 4K or 1080p Blu-ray players. This is after having already completed the research and development for an unannounced 4K player that was expected to be released at CES 2019 in Las Vegas. Rumors began circulating late last year that this would happen. I don't think it necessarily means the disc market for movies is going to go away. To this day, you can still find CDs and vinyls for sale with your favorite music on them. There are several reasons to keep buying movies and TV shows on disc. A 4K disc still offers the best possible audio and video quality to date. This is not to say video streaming is shabby by any means. Video streaming quality has come a long way in the last few years. Netflix, Amazon, Apple TV, Vudu, and Hulu all offer good picture quality with surround sound options. Looking at you, CBS All Access. However, the compression rates when streaming are what kills your video quality. Netflix tops out at around 20 megabytes a second. A 4K disc and player sends information to your entertainment system on average at 50 megabits a second, with some action sequences topping out at over 100. With all that said, it isn't always a matter of black and white. When it comes to audio, I believe that physical media wins every time, hands down. Sometimes it's super obvious and other times it's subtle. With video, however, I think it gets a little trickier. I believe this to be because most people prefer sharper picture to audio quality. When I stream from Amazon, I sometimes feel like I see artifacts in the video and banding during dark picture. However, Voodoo usually does not have this problem. If you're going to buy a movie, I suggest getting the disc, because when you buy the disc, not only do you have a higher quality version of the movie, but you also get the digital copy anyway. Not to mention that buying a digital online only version is usually the same price or close to that of the physical copy. As an added bonus of buying physical disc, you typically get more behind the scenes features than you would when a digital only version through Vudu. Going back to the internet connection though, some companies have to reduce the quality of their video and audio so the internet doesn't get clogged up with video traffic. Not to mention that your router at home more than likely can't handle the correct amount of data being sent over the airways for a full 4K Dolby Vision video with DTSX surround sound. Not to mention that physical media is still the best option for those who live in most rural areas of the country where internet speeds are slow. For most people, Netflix or Amazon quality video is fine. Watching a movie on a small screen like a tablet or phone doesn't require the best of the best in streaming quality. However, if you've invested some bucks into your system like I have, you want a more premium experience at home. This is why I believe disc won't be going away anytime soon. There will always be people who prefer a pure version of whatever they're into. With Samsung out of the disc player picture, this leaves less competition for Sony, Panasonic, and LG, and others, allowing them a bigger portion of this growing niche market. Niche markets for physical entertainment still exist. Like I mentioned already, CDs and LPs have yet to go the way of the dinosaur. If people prefer watered down entertainment at every corner, why do Xboxes and Playstations still sell in large numbers despite the fact that games and phones have been out for years? If no one was interested in the niche market of fast cars, then Chevy, Ford, Ferrari, and others wouldn't make fast cars in factories. If you want to enjoy physical media without actually buying them, check out 3dblu-rayrental.com where you can rent 4K physical movies. The link is below in the description. Let me know if you prefer streaming or physical discs in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe on your way out. I'm Isaac, and this is Movie University.